Dear HIV Good Evening, HIV. Thank you for joining me tonight. I've envisioned this face-to-face -face encounter for quite some time. Picture us sitting across from each other, me staring at you with disdain, and you, with a malevolent grin, your eyes cold and devoid of emotion. However, let me be clear, this is not a warm welcome. It's not a celebration of your existence, nor an opportunity for us to catch up after seven long years. This is a reckoning. This is me, Ladia, speaking my truth directly to your face. I won't mince words, sugarcoat, or engage in small talk. You are the unwelcome entity that invaded my life and stubbornly refuses to leave. You were the thief that once stole my sense of security, peace of mind, and hope for the future. You are not just a virus. You are a force of destruction, a weapon wielded against marginalized communities for over four decades. You've been used to stigmatize and discriminate against the black community, people of color, LGBTQ plus individuals, sex workers, and anyone society deems less than. And for this, I hate you with every fiber of my being. I despise you for cloaking me in shame, making me feel othered and less than. I wish for nothing more than to personally escort you to the fiery abyss for consistently attempting to make me feel like a prisoner within my own mind, body, and soul. You made me question my own intuition and existence. I vehemently resent the way you've influenced and impacted all my relationships, making me feel like damaged goods. Your unwelcome presence ingrained in me the idea that I was an undesirable, unlovable woman, unworthy of anyone's affection. The overwhelming sense of isolation and loneliness you've caused had me convinced I was doomed to a life devoid of the comfort and support of a loving partner and devoted tribe. You tried to brand me with a permanent scarlet stain, keeping me from experiencing closeness and connection again. And yet, as much as I detest you, I acknowledge the valuable lessons you've taught me. I detest the circumstances in which we met, but you've taught me that life is fragile, health is a gift, and loving myself is my greatest responsibility. Now, this bittersweet journey hasn't been a crystal stair. It's been full of trepidation, insecurity, and agony. But it's also been full of growth, resilience, and community. You've shown me the resilience of my own human spirit, revealed a reservoir of inner strength I never knew I possessed, and emboldened me to face challenges with a whole lot of chutzpah. You've taught me that stigma is a real and formidable force, one that hurts even more than the physical effects of your virus. You've illustrated that people can be cruel, ignorance can be dangerous, and fear can be paralyzing. But you've also taught me that people can be kind, education can be empowering, and courage can be contagious. As much as I abhor you for wreaking havoc in my life, I can't ignore the fact you've given me something unexpected, a proud sense of purpose. In your irksome wake, you've transformed me into an advocate, activist, and voice for those who've been silenced and dismissed. Through you, I've discovered a global mission to educate, raise awareness, and translate what it means to be a black woman thriving with an HIV diagnosis. You've given me a platform to share my story, shatter stereotypes, and empower others who, like me, show up in this world to live their most fulfilled lives. And as I bid you adieu, recognize that I am more than my status. I am a magical black woman, a daughter, sister, friend, advocate, writer, warrior, and so much more. While you've been part of my story, you're not the totality of it. Please know I no longer feel ashamed of who I am, what I've experienced, or what I've survived. I refuse to let you continue to define me by your narrow-minded stereotypes, misguided assumptions, and cruel judgments. Instead, I will define myself, on my own, 